Hi, this is Paul Binion. I'm one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation. Today we're going to talk about timesheets, and in particular the timesheet collector, which is an application that Hard Dollar has that allows you to be able to enter timesheets remotely away from the office. And in particular, we're going to focus on where we've already created a timesheet and we want to send it into the office. How do we do that? And it actually just takes a couple of clicks to synchronize it so that it sends straight into the office. You can see that I have a number of timesheets that I've been working with. Some of them have been submitted. That just simply means the timesheet was sent into the office and received. Others are approved, meaning that we have sent them into the office and they've been approved by the office. And then we have some that are pending, meaning they haven't been sent yet. Now of these pending ones, I'm going to focus on this one and just hit ready to submit. That tells me that when I synchronize, which is the procedure to actually send it off, um, it's going to look through my timesheets, find all of those that are checked ready to submit and send them. To synchronize, the easiest way is just to click on this icon right here, synchronize data. Uh, I can also hit the file menu and access it there. And it brings up this window. This, when it comes to the synchronization process, not only are we able to send off timesheets that we've done, we're also able to bring back important information that may be coming from the office. Maybe there are some new change order items that we need to be able to track against. Maybe there's new members of our crew. And so it'll download any of that pertinent information as well. The top section is marked to submit timesheets. And I have a few different options on how I can do that. I can select my timesheets by date range. I can select just all those that are marked ready to submit, which is what I have chosen. And then down below, I have the download master data. And it's going to download all that key information from the office that I need according to certain rules or filters that have been set up. So you can see I have some rules that, that make it so that only certain projects, only certain tracking codes, and only certain employees and machines that match certain criteria will apply to this timesheet collector. This helps me out in the field to really only have to filter through the data that I need to look at. So we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and click synchronize and see what happens. So notice it says uploading first. It is sending the timesheets that I've completed and you can see that it says timesheets one uploaded zero errors. That tells me that that timesheet is now submitted to the office. And it also downloaded all the key information that we needed. If I close my synchronization window, and as you can see, now that we come to this window, we have the project's timesheet that I just had sent. And notice it no longer says pending, but now says submitted. And that wraps up our session for today. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you next time.